Well, happy Friday, everybody. It has been uh, a hell of a week. Dealt with a little bit of loss, dealt with a little bit of love, dealt with a little bit of family. Uh, most importantly, got some gains. I sold uh, one of my paintings, chipping it out hopefully tomorrow. And I also may have sold another Bolt painting, which is kind of cool because uh, Bolt kind of lost a little bit of steam because I haven't been putting any Bolt pieces out. But I will be doing something with him again soon. So everyone hang on tight. Bolt hasn't gone away. He's just taking a break. I didn't want to overwork him. I didn't want everyone to get bored with him really fast. So uh, I hit while the iron was hot. We sold some shirts with him. But now, uh, come next Thursday, I'll be starting as the part-time customer experience manager at the Tom's River Michaels. So I go in on, uh, on Thursday for my paperwork and training. I won't really be dealing with anything in the store that day. Uh, and then we'll take scheduling after that. I am expected to work 20 to 25 hours a week at this position, but I can put in more if I need to or want to, or if they have, you know, if they have the labor for it also. Uh, we're about to go into the busiest season of the year, so I'm sure they will in fact be that one because, um, well, it's almost Christmas tree season, people. Uh, if you didn't see my video in my shorts, it's already pumpkin season, even though it's freaking July right now. Who the hell decides that pumpkin spice should be out in July. It's it's being pushed too soon just because everybody wants to be the first. So Dunkin' Donuts, what the fuck? I'm calling you out specifically because you're the brand that I saw Pumpkin Spice on the shelf. July 23rd, freaking, or whatever today's day, in the 26th, 26th, but still. Uh, I'm I would have allowed like the last week of August because it's going into the fall season, September, September I could see, you know, September makes sense, but really, um, all you pumpkin spice junkies out there, it's getting fucking ridiculous. Sooner or later, they're just not going to retire it. They're going to keep it out year round and y'all get fucking bored of it. Why, why corporate America do we have to take away the special stuff? Just, I mean, you gonna start selling Christmas trees year round? How about this? How about every month, everyone dresses up in a different costume and we come to door to door and expect people to give us something? I mean, why should we continue to do special things when we can just do it all year round or do it like three months in advance? Prime example, it is July. At the beginning of the month, Michael's Art Supply Store starts putting out their Halloween stuff. Why is that? Because crafters who create things for Halloweens, they, they, they have to buy stuff. And it's easier to buy stuff in advance instead of rushing. Um, so, I mean, on that standpoint, it makes sense. But really, when you come out with the pumpkin-flavored stuff, you're not crafting uh, uh, something that someone's going to keep for the season. You're just starting the season early, all right? That's like going in the garage and starting your car for five minutes before opening the garage door. And we all know that's not good for your health. So I don't know. I don't know. I just, I can't get behind it, but I'm stoked for next Thursday. Uh, it has been three years since I've worked for somebody else. And while I feel a little apprehensive about going back to work in retail, um, one of the biggest conversation points that was in my interview that I'm excited for is that Michael's is a destination rather than an obligation. Uh, you have to go food shopping. You have to go to the fuel pumps to fill up your car. You're forced to go to those places. Michael's is, I don't want to say a luxury, but it's a specialty. Michael's, the customers who go there, they know they're going there to buy stuff that Michael's carries, but not because they have to, because they want to. So I feel like the customer base will be a little more uh, relaxed and less hostile. So I, I, I'm looking forward to that part, aspect of it. I'm not going into a food service job again, which is another thing. I'm not looking forward to ever having to go back to food service. So the fact that Michael's is, you know, we have plastic food. I'm fine with plastic food. But, you know, uh, no gloves, no masks, at least not yet. Uh... 
it's going to be an interesting next week. So stay tuned. I'll put more about that out next week. And, uh, you know, if you're just getting here, thanks for joining the channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I put stuff out every day, and you'll get a notification if you subscribe. If you're still coming back, I love you. Thank you for coming back. It's a great feeling to have people that want to actually hear me rant about random nonsensical bullshit and not necessarily in a, you know, highly edited Mr. Beast-esque uh, format. You know, I'm doing my long forms and I'm keeping them raw. Keeping them raw because that's authentically who I am. If you were to meet me in person, watching my YouTube videos would in fact prepare you for speaking dubs and ease. Um, so yeah, sub learn more about me. Hit those comments. Let me know about you. I'm interested to meet you guys as well. So until next time, I'm J-Dubs Arts, or John, and I'm fucking out of here. Art to your heart.